So what we were trying to do is find a difference. And so uh, it's just coincidental in the course of a conversation with a head teacher, it was said, why not teachers? And when you start thinking about it, uh, it's much more effective way of reaching the young to inspire them to do something with their life rather than just the ordinary, do something exciting that mm. is rewarding for them, rewarding for society, uh, and in, uh, generally inspiring. Uh, and so um, that's where we suddenly found that maybe teachers were uh, the thing, the people to support. I, as a governor of a school very similar to this one here in Oxted, Oxted, um, I uh, identified that t young teachers are under a lot of pressure, the bureaucracy of teaching, and they need some excitement. Okay. And, what, and the teachers that you've chosen for this trip, including Phil, how do you think they're doing so far? Well, they're brilliant. I mean, we, we advertise and we got 55, I think, uh, expressions of interest and 20 applications which we shortlisted to nine and we've chosen four with two reserves and uh, I don't regret any one of those. The, the four are highly motivated, great teamwork and it's, it's going very well and they're responding to that challenge to raising their individual £10,000 and uh, we're going to help them as much as we can. And has there been any, any surprises so far from any of the teachers or any things that they've done? Well, uh, no, I, uh, nothing but good surprise. I think the biggest surprise is the, the projects that they personally have come up with. Mm. Because in the selection process, we asked them to make a presentation on their scientific project. And of course, many of them had no idea what Antarctic science was about. And that was the point of the exercise, to see how much they bothered to find out and how their lateral thinking could go. Um, but in the end, of course, with help from uh, people well able to do so, they've come up with some brilliant ideas. And it's their ideas, not, not the foundations. We didn't say, Oh, you must do this. Okay. And so, what do you hope will be the the, le the lasting legacy of this of this trip? Well, I wanted to, to celebrate the expeditions, the Transantarctic expeditions, 50th anniversary, in a very positive, modern way. Mm. So, hopefully, we will do that. But that's just a moment in time. Um, I hope that there will be a lasting legacy that shows that um, charity work can actually make a bigger difference in, um, on a topic that is so close to our concerns about the world. Um, I like to think that um, by the time 10 years are up, we will have sent, you know, half the hundred teachers, which is the ambition, that uh, we will have, therefore, a fine body of teachers uh, promoting the work that we do, as we will call them, Fuchs scholars. Okay. And uh, maybe they will become more widely recognized. So is there, are there already plans underway for a trip next year? Not next year, but the year after. Okay. Um, we're going to go to the Arctic, because the Arctic is less than half the expense. Um, but it doesn't mean to say we're giving up on the idea of annual or on um, going back to the Antarctic. It's just we must give ourselves breathing space, because it takes, it's taking 18 months to plan mm. this Antarctic trip. Okay. And uh, although the Arctic won't be so demanding. There are only six, of, six trustees who are doing all the work and we do it entirely voluntarily and so, with a very happy heart doing it. <laughs>